Oh, four ways you can still generate leads and get more revenue in this season without chasing family or friends or feeling depressed while self-isolating and social distancing. So without further ado, This is your girl, Julie Seal Kalunji of K-Web Social, part of Kalunji Group Brand. And today I'm going to share with you the steps that I take, that I've taken and implemented to help the situation, to serve my clients better, and to be able to stay sane, even when everyone's going crazy. Despite the fact that I've been working from home for all this time, the craziness can affect you. It really can affect you. So thank you, Dan Rich. I appreciate that. So I'm for confused. So we are going to be sharing with you some serious value so please do definitely say hello like i said my name is ajili sylvia kalunji of kalunjigroup.com and i know you all want to know how can you self-isolate social distance and still generate leads and still make revenue in this season i'm gonna share with you because listen listen guys fortune favors the prepared and if you are prepared you're going to get results in this season you're gonna get yourself a promotion at work as well so let's get this party going hi Derek, how you're doing good to see you we're enjoying god guide out of corona to teach more people there you go Derek. i like that i absolutely like that so precisely that's what we want to hear i wanted to reach out today to share with you what we are doing in response to global social distancing and to ensure service continuity now most of you who don't know what you are doing, this might not be the line for you today, but those of you that are already doing your business or your career is already taken off and you really want to help yourselves, this might be to, to, this might be what you need. There are two priorities right now that we wanted to provide continued and uninterrupted service to our customers and maintain safety as well as well-being for our partners who we outsource to. So to ensure that we all remain healthy and fully functional, we have done at least four, th four things. Now on Monday, I shared with you what you could do on a general level. Today, I'm sharing with you what you can do as a business owner, okay? Now, absolutely, please, social distance. Absolutely, I encourage you, don't be this person who insists that you have to go to work unless you are in the hospitality business. If you're in the hospitality industry, that is restaurants, bars, um breweries cafes please reach out to me privately i have an 100 percent for you won't even have to opt in subscribe give me your email or anything like that reach out to my inbox and i'll give you access to what i have given my social media management clients to do in the interim so that they can keep business flowing now obviously in the uk uh the, the prime minister has offered a huge huge loan to people in that in the industry over twenty five thousand pounds if you are if you didn't know about that please connect with your financial advisor your accountant immediately and get them to help you to get access to that funding and uh, other than that i would definitely encourage you to do the things i'm going to share with you today i work from home so i am already a remote worker but there are some people i work with who like to go out to stay to cafes um they work in, in offices so that they can continue keeping that semblance of being in a corporate space switch to working from home entirely work from the safety of your home now to make things easier you are encouraged to take your equipment home i hope your company allows you to take your equipment home now some companies obviously can't let you take a whole desktop but if you work on a laptop you should be able to take it home so that you can create a comfortable and efficient workspace at home wake up like you're going to work every day and dress up like you're going to work as normal so that you give yourself the opportunity to actually get into that headspace to get to work. You need to have an 100% ready infrastructure. Now, obviously, I have that infrastructure because I have I work 100% almost, well, 99% online. So my infrastructure has been completely ready massively from working from home. Uh, I have CRMs, that's Customer Relationship Management Systems, and, I, I, and if you reach out to me, I'll share with you which ones. Uh, we I use a live streaming resource as you can see this is not the normal standard Facebook live streaming di direct live I'm using a resource to help me live stream I also use zoom to hold team meetings and meetings with my clients so that 
they don't feel like they have to meet me physically and, and, and sneeze on me or I sneeze on them. Um, I definitely use Skype for business, for uh, one to one chats with people who prefer Skype. You definitely can create resources that help you to work from home and log in now for project management. I highly, highly recommend Asana, asana.com, and Trello for keeping yourself accountable and your team accountable to tick off all those resources. Now, I have a full training on Trello. Again, you can reach out to me and I'll send it to you so that you can go ahead and be able to work remotely, especially yous who don't know how to work from home and how to manage yourself and fulfill project uh, commitments and uh, milestones without that office kind of setting. I have always provided remote work options for, mo for many of, my, of the people that I outsource to. And so the system has been used and tested and it's ready for any situation. And so if you want me to help you with your business to set it up, please reach out to me and I can help because helping each other means we all thrive, okay? Keeping the human touch is something that you might want to think about. We are all aware of the challenges of social isolation, especially for the elderly. There is an elderly couple and, and some elderly. I live in, a, in an area where there are quite a few elderly people. My two next door neighbors were quite elderly. They passed on. God love them. And so there is a lot of elderly people where I live. And so reach out to those people. Just call them. Please don't go visit them in case you have the flu and you don't know that you do and you pass it on to them. Definitely pick up some shopping for them. Grab some stuff from the uh, supermarket. So let them know that you can grab it or teach them how to do their shopping online. Right now, as I speak, my neighbor has just has just received a Sainsbury's uh, drop off. They've dropped off at least five bags of shopping for them. So you can order all your food online. So don't be panicking, guys. In fact, if you order online, let me tell you this. What everyone's going through, scrambling for shelves and looking at, at empty shelves. If you order online, they will deliver everything you order because they have it in the, in the warehouse. So don't scramble on the supermarket shelves. Simply order online and have your food delivered at the door. You will have paid for the food, so you don't have to, 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 to pay the person who delivers. And above all, you insist on how old should the food, the durable, you know, food that has a very low, um, say, rotting threshold, how many weeks or days ahead it should be so that they don't pick for you everything that's going off the shelf, okay? I'd like to thank you for understanding for the occasional support answers. For some of you reaching out to us, we are getting a huge number of support questions and inquiries. Please, we will get back to you. Please do not despair. We will get to you. And, uh, and if you are a business owner and you'd like to also outsource your customer service and social media, we are your man. We can help you do that efficiently, proficiently, effectively. I definitely know that this, is, this too shall pass. Um, if you want to know more, on Monday I did a full training on the 9 to 10. I think I get 12 things you can do. I always over deliver that you can do right now. Outside of what I've just shared with you, you can do all those 12 things and carry on with your business. So I wish you health and safety during these difficult times. And now we're going to... Quick question. When was the last time you were truly excited about your business, what you do, and got desired results? If you're like most new or struggling marketers reps, business owners, it's like a dream. You cannot remember even why you started your business. You cannot remember when you last got results or ever. And that breaks my heart. Because when I speak to people, they sound like they are lost, like they have no clue what to do, how to do it, where to do it. And yet they also don't think they need to invest in learning the skills they need to be able to talk to people, market and sell on a daily basis and get the results. They desire in their business. They tell you they spend hours on Facebook, posting their links, posting before and after pictures, speaking to strangers and just dropping links with them, scouring groups and looking for like halves of vouchers, looking for somebody to sell to. They hold old scripts that don't work and never worked when they were used and they believe every one within three feet of them is fair game. This is not your fault. No one told you how to market, no one told you how to sell, not on social media anyway. And I know this because I was once where you are right now. I was once where you are today. I spent hours for scoring Facebook groups. I, I was looking to sell to anybody who smiled at me. Anybody who sent me a friend request was fair game. I would spend hours on YouTube videos to find that magic nugget. I posted my links all over every group, like thousands of groups, and I did not even get one sale made or, or recruit one team member. And when I did, they quit within three days. Yet today, 
you have the key to change all that. That hopeless, helpless, what am I doing feeling ends today if you decide. My name is Adjili Sylvia Kalunji. I'm a full-time mom and housewife. And I own and run the Kalunji Group brand. And I help marketers and entrepreneurs and business owners like you to navigate the noisy space that is social media and the digital space. Organize your offers, target the right people, get paid on purpose, and leave the life you started what you started for. And today I'm going to share with you how you can attract more customers, more team members, more residual e income, and get the results with the better tested strategies I use daily to get results in my own business and coaching run. Here's the deal. When I first started out, right, I had no clue what to do, who to talk to how to talk to them, whether they were serious or not. Even though I knew they probably needed what I had, I had no clue to get them to patch that vision and actually consider themselves ready now to take that step. Yet, when I came across a community that allowed me to bridge the gap between where I was and where I wanted to be, things changed dramatically. Well, it was like a dream. And you two could be part of such a community. You don't have to watch multitudes of live streams on Facebook all day looking for that one nugget. Yet, none really give you what you need. What you need is you taking the decision that you matter, that you deserve to invest in you, that you deserve your own income as your one and best investment. And you deserve the results you deserve. You deserve to live a life. You deserve to live a life of your dreams. So right now, I'm offering you an opportunity to do exactly that. To focus on what works, to get more team members, to, to get your products off the digital shelf, and more money than money if you make a decision. And you will be able to teach your team members how to do this, or other people that you would want it to do exactly what I do on a weekly basis. You will have more results, more residual income, more fun, more freedom, more fulfillment in what you do if you decide that you matter. So if this is you, then there's a link right below this video. It's an invitation right now where you can join a community, a mastermind, to learn how you two can create the results you need. It's a high level mastermind where you will change your story and you will change your story at an affordable rate, the price of two burgers and a coffee. I'm sure you deserve that. I'm sure you have shoes and handbags that actually cost more than that. This offer is not open 24 seven. It is not open all the time. So make sure that you decide and that you really want to change your life this side of the year. Click on the link or the button below and get the results you deserve in your business. Get the results you deserve in your business. And if you decide, welcome on the other side. And God bless you. Thank you for listening to me. Now let's talk about how you can generate leads during this season. All right? Scrolling across your screen right now, that is the mastermind. That's the high level mastermind. You need that if you are in network, online marketing, MLM, you are a small business owner, you've just started your business, you've been doing your MLM for so long, you don't even remember when you started or the excitement you started with, it's time to change that story. Let's get you inside the mastermind and let's help you to make some money this side of the year, even as everybody's running around saying, well, wow, social isolation, working from home. You were already doing this without social isolation. Don't let the isolation be your excuse why your business is not growing. So let's talk about lead generation even as you social isolate, right? Let's get back to it. To grow your business, you need leads. Without leads, you don't have a business. And without leads come from traffic. And to grow and have a successful online business, you have to move from relying on networking and prospecting and referrals to generating new business via flow of uh, leads. And leads, like I said, come from, from traffic. And the best place to get the traffic organically in this time and age today, I promise you, you know that I always tell you what's working is Pinterest and LinkedIn. Now, obviously, we are on Facebook and you're always on Facebook, but the most organic way to make to get people to see your journey and to pick up your story and message is through live streaming. And most of you are finding live streaming a stretch because uh, you're noticing that the, that the views have dropped and you have to promote your life so hard, blah, blah, blah. So you're losing that, ex that initial excitement. But I'm telling you today, Without a shadow of a doubt, video is still the most effective way to promote your brand and yourself and your charity and your ministry and your business or whatever it is you're promoting to a mass population of people globally that you did not have access to geo geographically. So there are three types of different leads that you're going to uh, start to attract in your business. And uh, I'm going to tell you the three types and then I'm going to help you out how to attract them, right? Number one, leads who don't know they need anything. 
These are people who don't know they need what you're selling. They only have a vague feel that they have a problem or desire, but they don't view it as a big deal. So they aren't making any efforts to look for a solution because the pain is not deep enough. Now, these are people who know you and you know them maybe, or you're connecting with them. And when you qualify them, qualifying is asking the right questions. And this morning, we were talking about all the questions you could ask a prospect that can move them from, mm, I'm browsing to, yes, I am a buyer and I am interested. So if you want to know, that was the lead that I talked about before uh, that will, you, show, you, you saw on the, on the commercial break. And the, the link is scrolling across your screen right now. At the bottom of the screen is a link and information. Type that in your browser and let's get you started. This is your time. All your clients are sitting at home now. All your potential clients are sitting at home, don't know what to do, worried, scared. They are scared shitless. They are scared shitless about their job because many of them are on contracts. So no work, no paycheck. So they are looking for a way to make money right now, this very hot minute. And if you are not in their peripheral view, you're not doing anything to show them that you have value. You're not doing anything to help them understand that they can move from, oh God, what's going on? To yes, I'm doing something productive and by the grace of God, by the time this whole thing ends, I'll be making money. And then I get back to work and I have two pages and Bob's your uncle. So you need to be talking to people. But in order to get those people to talk to you, you have to know what questions to ask. And that's what I was teaching in the mastermind today. So the link is below you. Let's get to the next type of leads. The leads who recognize that they need something. They are those people who know that they need something, that they need what you are selling. They even know that you are selling it. They even know that you're the best person to go to, but they aren't sure exactly what they want. Like they, they think, do I want Nike or do I want Adidas or do I want Goldiga? Maybe I want sketches. Maybe I want stretchers. Maybe I want my doggy shoes. I don't know. They don't know what they want. They feel as if they have an unmet need, but at this point, they don't have a clear idea about what will decide to purchase, what they will, will they decide to purchase, or who they might purchase it from. The only way to move those people from, I don't know what I want and who I might buy it from, is to give them more value. And I'm going to share with you how to do exactly that in a bit. The third type of lead uh leads who know they need those are your that everybody's looking for those even i am looking for those they know what they want they not they are ready to purchase it they are the easiest to sell to all you need to do is to show them that you are the person who has what they need that meets their need that they already know they have and it's not tongue twisting there is this is where the problem comes in right by the way, my nose is itching and don't ask me about Corona. Most companies marketing funnels, most people who have funnels, no matter how large or how small, are focused on identifying the leads that are ready to purchase and then sell to those people. Why? Because that's the easy way. Unfortunately, they have not identified this lead so they can't attract this lead. If you focus only on that third type of lead, the one who knows what they want, they are ready to buy, they are willing to buy, they are excited to buy, you miss out on all those one and two types. They are 80% of the population. And guess what's happening? 80% of that population right now see on their gadget, on their tablet, looking for what you offer. And if you are not positioning yourself, they will not buy from you. 80% of the people, you know, the number one and two type leads, you can watch the replay if you want. And by the way, I can't see any comments, so I cannot pick up on your comment or whatever and if you're getting value please do go right ahead if you only focus on the third type of lead and you will understand what i'm talking about when you watch the replay you're going to miss out on the 80 percent start treating them like they are your friends because they are you can convert them to customers sooner or later if you speak their language the language of a customer is questions people are always asking themselves questions you have to know what questions they're asking themselves in order to get them to see you as the provider of their choice but generating valuable leads through your marketing panel involves a process right and today i'm gonna share with you the process let me tell you something when i first started in marketing way way back before i even became an online marketer i was doing uh i, I was an nvq assessor in the housing sector and so i had to find clients but i never for once even for one minute considered myself a marketer i comes i i depended hugely on referrals from one company to another from one housing uh, manager to another 
So, and, I, and I knew they would always tell somebody else that, you, this, this lady came here and did a great service for us and they helped. When I started in online marketing, I thought it was the same process. Goodness gracious me, how different was the process. As, as in people don't even want to refer people to you, let alone buy from you, because they think you are, I don't know, they think you're going to steal their money or something. Now, when I talk about online marketing, I started in the online, in the network marketing MLM space. And I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing because I was coming from the referral side, which was what I used to do inside of uh, NVQ assessing to actually actively marketing and building funnels, attract, action, attraction marketing, education based marketing and all that juice. You don't have to learn all this stuff. The only thing you need to learn if you're new to marketing, if you're new to your business, if you're new to home based business, MLM, network marketing, affiliate marketing is one thing. Prospect, no, two things. Prospecting, follow up. That's it. Don't let anyone tell you you need to build blogs, you need to build funnels, you need to know. You just need to learn how to prospect and to follow up in order to get the decision. Because obviously, if you prospect and follow up, you have to get the decision, right? So understand that the prospect is your lead. So understand their mindset. Are they problem oriented or solution oriented? Are they committed to obtaining a solution right away? Only they're interested in finding a solution. You need to understand where your prospect is coming from if you're going to help them get that decision you're looking for. For your leads to trust you, they need to view as somebody who has a solution. And if you are, so for instance, my lead has to view me as an expert in the field of marketing so that they can trust me to help them either in the done it for you section, which is what we do in Care Web Social, or in the do it, do it yourself section, which is what we do in the mastermind, the winning enterprise. Am I that person who knows how to get you the solution? You would have to decide. And for you to decide, I'd have to help you decide by sharing the evaluation they might. Get your leads to trust you. Don't expect a sale on day one, because that means you are like that man or woman who meets someone in a pub or a club, and they're like, oh my goodness, isn't she sexy? She's sexy, and you're like, dude, you're so sexy. Can you marry me today? They look at you like, bog off. And I won't give you any bog roll either. For your leads to trust you, you've got to give them some value. Now, in the funnel space, if you have funnels, you, know, you need to create a lead magnet that is designed to suit your prospects at different levels of their mindset, interest, and commitment. If you don't have a funnel, which most of you don't, you can create a simple process where you do, you create some PDFs. Yes, you can create a PDF from a Word document. You can create a PDF from a PowerPoint document. So all of you who are pretending you don't know how to create resources to give away to your leads, you are leaving money on the table. Create a resource that helps people solve their biggest weight loss problem. Because people don't want to go to Google. So when you give them that resource for free, they're going to love on you. Create a lead magnet. That's what it's called. For those of you that have funnels. You only have a few seconds to convey your proposition. So make sure you are funneling your leads to the most appropriate space in your process. And if you have a funnel, that will be your landing page for your lead magnet to convert. And if you are prospecting, the best way to convert that person is to show them your business presentation and then ask them if they have any questions or concerns and answer those questions directly and fully so that they can look at you as the trusted person who's going to help them build that thing and be sure that you're able to help them build that thing. Don't become the person who hypes things because if you hype things up, they'll find you out sooner or later that you lied to them that you know how to do this thing and you don't. Make sure you can point them to a resource like our mastermind where they can learn how to build that thing. Make your value proposition very quickly to your prospect. The best way to make a value proposition is again to ask the right question. Because when you ask the right question, you're then able to, when you offer someone your value proposition, you do it by a question, you're able to answer that question. Even after they've answered your question, you can then tell them, see, the way I do it is ABC. Because obviously, you also have a right to answer your own question, right? Very smart way. Target and retarget people. Now, in the digital space, that's called retargeting. And the only way you can retarget is if you're running some scaled promotion or campaign. And I'll tell you how you can retarget when you don't have a fund. In other words, call people and call them and follow up with them. 
follow up if you started the conversation with so so and so with julie from nansana follow up if you called julie from nansana and showed her your business follow up with julie from nansana if julie from nansana said they were gonna look at your business so they haven't even looked at it yet or you don't know if they looked so you've got to follow up and find out because some people will take you on a, on a bit of a run around and you don't want that person on your team they are procrastinators they are not decision makers they are also liars that's the truth people lie mm -hmm. a lot so if someone lies to you before they even see the business information do you want them on your team i don't think so but they may not you don't you may not mind them being customers like they buy the product but on your team you have freaking fucking literally don't want them on your team because they're going to they're going to lie to you as a team leader they're going to lie to you as an upline they're going to tell lies about you as an upline you get the picture target and retarget your prospects with valuable content to increase your relevancy and authority in their eyes remember we asked that question who do you want to go to somebody who knows what they're talking about so keep sharing value content to increase their re your relevancy and authority in their eyes now here is their deal the only way you can do that if you don't have say a branded website or a page where you can do that is by the post you share on social media on your facebook profile on your linkedin profile on your instagram profile on your pinterest page you don't need any high value anything to show value to people that you know what you're talking obviously you have to remember that anybody and everybody who is making any waves in your industry has a branded website and so reach out to k web social present and we can create for you an seo optimized website that people love that people will visit that will attract the right people to you when you follow the right steps that we will share with you as we work with you to build your brand online okay so build relationships you need to increase engagement with leads that are less aware of their need and less committed to a solution the one and two remember we talked about them earlier on constantly communicate with these people if you're building a list you have an opportunity to actually keep sending them an email at least once a week or twice a week or three times a week it depends on how you have groomed your your email list to respond to your information definitely don't over feed them because they'll stop opening your emails i used to send at least five emails a week i've scaled that down to just two emails a week and i can tell you that my open rates have gone right up above beyond what i was expecting okay so build relationships with people and respond to their need and don't over serve them it's like you give somebody a buffet and they are tiny like a stick and they clearly don't like to eat too much right convert them into customers this is this this is the last step of the process that moves someone from browser to buyer most of you marketers want to move from hi julie to number seven this is the step number seven i've taken you through seven steps of turning generating leads turning that lead into a customer and and basically working on that one who has not yet made up their mind into a customer you have show people that if they bought today they will get xyz bonus if they don't buy today this is what the picture will be like if you paint the picture of their pain by not purchasing and you give a very limited window of time through which they have to purchase and i'm not calling it scarcity because i don't like using negative words when i'm teaching when you create a situation where there's a win-win in other words someone has to take the time out that they need to determine that they need what they're selling they will buy every time i send out a proposal to a client for either a web design or a social media man management uh, contract i give them 48 hours to make a decision if you came out if you came to me asking for a solution and i i propose to you a solution it shouldn't take you more than 48 hours to make a decision clearly when you came to me you wanted a solution so if it takes you longer than 48 hours and you did not tell me that your partner is in hong kong stuck in hong kong and can't communicate to you at all then definitely you are just procrastinating or you decided to go google and find someone on fiverr to do what you want to do it has happened to me done by somebody i truly respected who i showed a problem they had with their brand i laid out what they could do I gave them a whole proposal and solution on what they could do. And then they decided to go to Fiverr maybe, or they decided to do what they always do. I don't know, but I definitely know that what goes wrong comes wrong. So yeah, there will always be people like that who might take you for granted 
and uh, take your expertise, take your help, take your advice and go find a cheaper solution. And we all get what we pay for. So that's it for me today. What is it do you do to generate leads in this season? Because definitely you will need a solution. I've given you several solutions in, the, in this uh, program. I hope that helps you out. I'm going to end this live right now by wishing you all health and wellness. Please be safe. Look after yourself. In this, in this season, you can either thrive because you know who you are made of. Or you can fall down the beach and wrestle with pigs and they will enjoy the battle because that's where they live. I highly suggest that you decide you're worth it because you have the inner man in you who's the greatest consciousness, who's God in my life. And no focus on the fear, the doubts and all the scaremongering going on. That's the wrestling with the pigs and them enjoying it. If we all say no to fear and not even talk about the sea word, we shall actually beat it. If you focus on something, it, it magnifies. If you don't give it attention, it goes back in the dark holy temple. So have an amazing day. If you're watching me on YouTube, subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss an update because I'm amazing. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Julie Seal Kalunji is my name over there as well. And definitely invite somebody else to find this value. Share it with somebody. And as you share, be blessed. And sh drop shared in the comments, whether on, on YouTube or Facebook, you will be entered into a draw to be, to receive some amazing value. And I can tell you, one of my clients has actually received three months worth of social media management for them just because they did what I recommended. And I'm telling you, that's more that's that's priceless. It's more than gold because when a professional manages your social for you, you see things differently. So thank you for watching me. Have an amazing day.